We come together for more than ourselves. During the month of August, 50% of this congregation's offertory will go to Camp de Beneville Pines, our church retreat in the San Bernardino Mountains that we share with UU congregations across the Southwest. UU Santa Monica members have been going to De Beneville Pines for many years, finding respite from the LA chaotic life for, for a week or a weekend, hiking, singing, and meditating under the Jeffrey Pines that surround the camp. My family and I have been going to camp for years now, since our kids were really little. The kids love it, the freedom, the fun up there. The grown-ups like the enjoyment, the uh, relaxation, the community, singing, eating, playing cards, all that stuff. I've been going since I was about 12. <laughs> I have very fond memories of it, and recently I've gotten to go and be a, an adult um, support for the youth-led campus tree as well, which is a treat. However, because of COVID-19, this year the Beneville Pines has been virtually empty. Yet, it still does cost money to run the place. Quite a bit of money, actually. And camp is quickly exhausting its reserves. So churches like ours are stepping up to help save this precious resource. Camp director Janet James says that if each church can just contribute through donations, what it normally contributes through reservations and registrations, camp will survive. And, and we're going to do a concert. Speaking of fundraisers. Yes. Friday, September 18th, which would be the first night of our camp, uh, our family retreat at the camp. Um, Leslie Kernikin and Kyle, I'll be Kyle Landauer that night. Yeah. We're going to do a four, short four song concert. Featuring his music. Several other very, very talented artists. Yes, and Leslie Kernigan's very talented too. <laughs> so we hope to see you there. Friday, September 18th. Thanks, and uh, don't forget to donate. Camp to Bonneville! <laughs>